What's up everybody, it's your boy AJ Spade and today I decided I'm gonna do a story time. Now today's story, um, which is sadly enough a real life story, it's gonna be about how me and two of my friends almost died. Yeah, we, we literally almost got killed so let's start the story so we're gonna start a little bit of backstory okay um most of you might not know i was born and raised in the south side of chicago that's a that's a that's a pretty tough area to grow up in yeah so um i don't know i think i was like 18 17 or 18 but anyway me and two of my friends, uh, Scooter and Johnny. Yes, one of my friends' name is Scooter with the A, not with the ER, but that's not the point. Anyway, um, we were, we were doing what we normally do uh, on a normal, normal Saturday or whatever. We were just chilling at Johnny's house. We were bored. We we trying to find something to do, and I believe Johnny said hey let's, let's go bowling so us having nothing else to do nothing better to do that day we say sure why not let's go bowling now mind you there's a bowling alley not too far away from where Johnny lives like maybe a five minute drive um, but we decided Actually, we went to that bowling alley at first, and when we got there, we were like, you know what? Let's go to a different bowling alley. I don't know why. We didn't even go inside the bowling alley or anything. We just, when we got there, we got to the door and decided, hey, let's go to this other bowling alley that we've never been to ever. Let, let's just go there and, and bowl. So we went back to Johnny's house and we got a ride from his mom because this bowling alley was like, I don't know, maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes away. And we got there. It wasn't a terrible part of town. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say terrible, but it wasn't the greatest. This bowling alley was huge. And oh, I remember, I remember why we wanted to go there. It's because they had an arcade inside and they had that kind of bowling alley where like the lights are turned off and there's neon lights. So like if you're wearing white or whatever, it like lights up and stuff and the, all the balls and stuff are lit up and the pins down at the end are lit up. It looked really cool. It was a really cool bowling alley. So we had we had a reason from leaving our bowling alley which was a little normal, you know, bowling alley to this huge bowling alley with neon lights and stuff. So we, we went to that bowling alley. We had Johnny's mom drive us there. And she she was going to the casino, which is why she was able to drive us there because it was on the way to the casino. So she dropped us off. We went in there, we were bowling, I had a, had a great time bowling. I believe I had some, they had this huge thing of Supreme Nachos. <sighs> nachos. <laughs> but yeah, um, so we bowled, we ate, we, we played some games, messed around a little bit. Um, I don't know, we were there for about maybe three, four hours. And we decided, okay, it's time for us to go. Because we had to catch the bus back. So we didn't want to stay there too late. Because Johnny's mom wasn't coming back to get us. Once you go to the casino, you're pretty much there for the rest of the night. Um, so we had to take the bus back. So it was me, Johnny, and Scooter. We walked to the bus stop. And we're standing there. It's about, I'd say, 10.30 close to 11 and when we got there there was two guys already standing there at the bus stop they were just normal looking guys nothing nothing crazy 
They were standing there already when we got there. So we stood by them and we're waiting for the bus. And then maybe 15 minutes go by and some people rolled past and they're like, you guys wait for the bus? And we're like, yeah, and we're like, I think it stopped running at like 10.30. And we're like, wait, what? And then they drove off. And we're like, crap. We've been standing here for like 15 minutes and now the bus ain't even gonna run. So, another bus stop is way down really far down like maybe seven or eight blocks down and it okay we're going this way and it's going this way and that bus is still running because it's going a totally different way it's a totally different bus totally different line and that that bus stop comes into play later but anyway we were standing at the bus stop and we're like okay so I guess we gotta walk all the way down there to catch the bus before that stop, bus stops running, which I don't think that one stops running until like 1 or 2 in the morning. So we had plenty of time, but it's still a long walk. So we're like, okay, I guess we're gonna walk. And then right as we're about to walk, I guess the two guys that were there too had some trouble with somebody, or maybe not, we don't know. It, this part never actually came clear to us what was up with those two guys or whatever but as we were about to walk another car starts driving past and randomly out of that car one of the guys in the back seat was like what'd you say what'd you say fuck folks fuck folks now if you don't know in chicago there are gangs and these gangs have names one of the gangs would be folks kind of like uh GD or whatever, and then there's Stones, and there's a whole bunch of different games, Latin Kings and all that. But this guy out of the back car, out of the back of the car, just started, you know, as they're riding past, like fuck folks, fuck folks, what? And we're like, okay, that's got nothing to do with us. So let's start walking. <laughs> and the two guys that were standing there, they started like walking the opposite direction of us, which was a great thing. Like, they didn't even get, this is us, this is us three, we're walking, they're like right here, and they're walking, they didn't even get really far away from us at all, and the car did a U-turn, and it parked, because there was a parking lot right behind the bus stop, where we were standing, they parked in the parking lot, got out of their car, and it was like five of them, and they just ran out of their car, and ran up to those two guys, and like, we're over here, not too far away from them, but they ran up to those two guys, and then they just started beating the crap out of them. So at that point, as soon as the first couple of punches were thrown, me and Scooter looked at each other, and I mind you, Johnny, Johnny is a big dude. Like he's not he's not big, tall. Like he's he's round. Like he he was way shorter than me, like five four maybe and he's just round so you know me and scooter looked at each other and we're like crap we're about to fight some people and then we looked at johnny and as we go to look at johnny he's already gone down the street and he booked it like he was gone <laughs> and we we looked at each other again like what the heck so we ran and we're trying to catch up with Johnny as he's running down the street. I ain't never seen that boy run that fast, but he was gone. So me and Scooter's right behind him. We're, we're running behind him. And I'm trying to make sure Scooter's keeping up because, you know, we ain't leaving nobody behind. Johnny's already in front of us, so it's just got to make sure me and Scooter get up there. And then Johnny was about to turn and run in the train tracks because there was a, there was a, like a little, you know how train tracks they go up you run up some stairs and then you're up on the train tracks and then it's like a terminal like a metro station and he's about to run up there and and i guess hide up there or whatever or hope there was a train coming or something but me and scooter caught up to him and we was like no 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 let's keep going straight let's go to that other bus stop and let's see if the bus is coming because it's dark 
on that metro station up there and we don't play that but the two dudes behind us started running in the same direction that we were running because they were getting their butts kicked and then they ran and turned where Johnny was about to turn and ran to the metro station so we kept going forward and that's the last time we saw them but we kept running and then randomly I don't know like five minutes we start seeing the car that we saw I guess they were looking for the two guys but they drove past us and they were laughing like really loud and we just kept going we're not paying attention to this we're just gonna keep going and we just kept running and then we got to the other bus stop and we didn't see those guys again got on the bus took the bus home I, it was about because this all started at about maybe 10 30 maybe 11 it was like 12 30 when we got home like i don't know where that bus took us or whatever but we just jumped on the first bus we saw we took it and then we had to find our way back to our route to get back home yeah and then went home got home got home safely uh went to bed a little bit freaked out uh woke up to the next morning woke up to scooter knocking on my window like he always did open the window like yeah come on and he's like hey hey remember those remember those two dudes we saw that they got that crap beat out of them last night like yeah like man that train station we just heard on the news that uh two dudes got shot up there last night oh yeah very glad we told Johnny that we wasn't running up there now I don't know if those were the same two guys but I don't see much coincidence with that being something different so yeah those guys weren't just looking to beat people up they were looking to shoot people and I think they did but luckily it was not us so yeah that's the end of that story like personally if we would have went a stupid way or we would have tried to stay and fight or whatever we would have probably ended up getting shot also good thing we ran well good thing Johnny ran and we followed him and yeah now we're here telling the story I hope you enjoyed it that was the time that me and two of my friends almost died I have plenty more stories, trust me. I have a whole bunch of stories. Uh, most of them take place in Chicago, which was a terrible place. I actually almost died a lot of times, like a whole lot of times. And if you want to hear those stories, you know, leave the comments down in the comment section. Like the video and subscribe because I have plenty more of these stories that I can tell. And I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, I will catch you on the flip side, because I'm out.